Hey guys, Adrian here from DigitalDojos.com and today we're going to be taking a look and overview of an application called Rescue Time. Now this is a really awesome service. If you've ever wanted to manage your time, you want to see how productive you are in, in, in a visual representation and really just track the things you do on your computer, especially for somebody like me who's self-employed, I recently got back into this application. I used to use it a while back and I really wanted to start getting more data back. This is called Rescue Time. Rescue Time, you head over to their site, rescuetime.com. I believe it's, it is cross-platform, available for Mac and Windows. Um, and you install it, so you can see the app is installed here in my uh, top bar menu bar over here for the Mac. You can simply, the app just runs in the background. You don't even really have to interact with it. You can pause it for a certain amount of time if you don't want tracking for a specific amount of time. But for the most part, all your data is stored here on the web. It can be viewed via your web dashboard. Uh, like I said, it does go about tracking your computer. And if you're worried about that, it's a really secure system. It's only tracking, it's tracking for the most part. All the things it tracks is things your computer already tracks on its own. The websites you visit are stored in your browser history, um, apps you use, uptime, all that is already stored. This is just putting all that information and data into a visual representation. And it shows you how productive versus how unproductive you are. And again, maybe you don't work from home, but you may just want to keep this information in mind. Maybe you are you know, doing freelancing on the side or doing some projects on the side. You just want to see how productive you are while you're doing it. This will go ahead and I'll categorize things. So for example, I just started using this yesterday so the data isn't too roughly um, you know, uh, huge, but you can see here, for example, social networking wise, I spent a lot of my time on Twitter, the least amount on Facebook. Um, business wise, these are some of the sites I was visiting yesterday. I was spending a lot of time on my client services sites. Um, all categories, you can see predominantly, I was spending 40 minutes plus average on social networking versus other stuff, some stuff uncategorized, some stuff business or work related. Now, it takes a judgment off of certain stuff on terms of what's productive and unproductive. So that may change the scale, for example. So for example, I am 77, I'm more distracted than 77% of the people. But for the most part, some of the stuff I do that may be considered distracting in some aspects isn't so much for the work I do. So for example, I can go into categorize activities here and I can change specific things. So for example, social networking is a big thing that shows up as unproductive. And while that's true, things like Facebook, I don't use as much. Things like Twitter, which I actually use a lot, is also used for me pushing out content and me to keep up with content. So I typically have that open a lot. So while I may track that as unproductive, I can simply tack the plus button right here and say that's you know not as distracting as people you you know it may think it, it considers that very distracting i can even say it's productive in the most case for example me reading blogs that is something i need to do a lot in terms of um keeping up on the news so i can actually say that's neutral or actually that's actually productive for me i especially things like mail that's actually really productive for me so very productive i'm spending a lot of time in mail for the most part it's because i'm getting work related stuff done Again, the same thing goes for blogs. If it's uncategorized, like yesterday, it thought my friend's blog, DuncanMail, dunksblog.com, it, it was uncategorized. I can go ahead and put that in there and I can you know, say it's actually productive for me to be browsing these sites. Uh, so that's what it does. It's really awesome. You can correct it to work around the things that you do. Uh, really, really awesome here. Just a really cool way to track all of your stuff and see how efficient you are. You can go down and break that down. You can see your productivity results. You can see your efficiency results. Uh, and ideally, you're going to want to use this for a while. And then, you know, maybe at the end of the week, at the end of the month, see how you're doing. Now, in this case, again, it doesn't have a lot of data for me. You can track the month, the week, the day. The year view and going backwards, going back a couple months, you're going to need to upgrade to the Rescue Time Pro. Rescue Time Pro, if you are really enjoying the app, you can go ahead and subscribe for as low as $6 a month. Really cheap. Or you can see Pro for $9 a month, You can depending on how you want to do uh, the payment plan there. Um and when you do that, you get really awesome stuff. Deeper tracking, focus time, which allows you to block out distracting applications so you can simply just get work done. And really detailed graphics and stuff like that, uh, or graphs and visual representation of your data for the year view, stuff like that, how productive versus unproductive you are. Under monitoring here, you can adjust things. If you don't want it to monitor 24 seven, you can change that. You can have it do specific times. That's all up to you for you guys who out there or for anybody out there, I guess, who is concerned about adult sites by default, it does ignore adult sites. So it's not tracking that. No worries there. It's not going to show up in your data. And I, I, maybe that's Maybe that's your line of work. Maybe that's productive for you, but who knows? That is all up to you. It adjusts around you. That's what I really like. Rescue time. Get your time back. See how you're doing. Get a visual representation of what you are doing and how it stacks up productivity versus unproductive there. This is rescue time, guys. Definitely worth checking out. It is free for the basic plan. You can upgrade to the pro version if you're that interested. Again, this is at rescuetime.com. 
And of course, you can check out more information from me over at digitaldojos.com. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you guys enjoy Rescue Time, if you use it already, maybe you are going to try it out. You know, what are your results? Post them down below. Love to hear you guys' feedback. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed. That helps out. And to show your feedback, giving that thumbs up, it doesn't hurt. Just a quick second. If you like the video, please do that as well. Of course, you can check out all my content. Stay up to date by heading over to digitaldojos.com. You can check out all my social network links posted up here. And if you guys click the tweet to link, click the tweet link down below. Uh, first three will get a shout out, like Jamie Ives and TX Brad on Twitter. A huge thanks to you guys for uh, tweeting out the link. And with that, guys, I will see you all in the next video.